Hey guys, Forest Geckos here again. Um, I posted on my Facebook that I was going to be doing like an updated care video um, and I'm going to do care videos that I haven't done before like Lichionis and uh, Cresteds. I've just done Gargoyle in the past. Um, so yeah, this is a Gargoyle Gecko um, care video and this is basically just a um, normal basic, very basic tank setup. Um, I'm a breeder and you know, so I don't usually use tanks. I actually use a lot of sterilites. I have a racking system on the way from uh, Animal Plastics, and I'm really excited about that. So that should be good. I actually have like three racking systems on the way, but yeah, so um, from Animal Plastics. But anyways, so I just figured I would do this uh, this video real quick. And when I get those Animal Plastic racks, I'm also going to do a video on them for you guys. So yeah. All right, so this is uh, my new Gargoyle Gecko. You can kind of see her up there, kind of just hiding out. There she is. Um, I got her off of Craigslist, so, um, you know, I usually don't do that, but, you know, somebody had two females up for, you know, pretty cheap, and so I just jumped on it, and so this is kind of her quarantine take right now. But, uh, yeah, so this is just a basic setup. You know, I do uh, plants, and I do one piece of cork bark. This is a cork round, actually. And then I do a little dish holder that'll hold these little cups. And, yeah. So, for feeding, um, for feeding the gargoyle geckos, um, and cresteds, actually, I no longer use Pangea, or I no longer use uh, Rapashi. I use uh, Pangea 100% now. And that's... That's this stuff. Um, I actually sell it on my website too. But um, and how you mix that is you. What I do because I'm a breeder and I have so many geckos. I put it in here, put the dry in here, and it's just a little ketchup squirter from like Walmart. And so I'll put the powder in here, and then you mix it with water to about a ketchup consistency. Shake it up really well. Make sure there's no clumps in there, and then you just pour it into these little dishes, you know. And uh, and you have to do that every night when they're smaller. But these guys, like the bigger bigger ones and adults they get it about every two to three nights depending and uh, with gargoyle geckos the juveniles will actually get a little bit of a kink tail sometimes and when they do that it's uh, usually like a sign of um, calcium deficiency so with all mine I put in a little bit of the super cal medium D um, about once every two weeks or so I just sprinkle a tiny tiny bit in their food mix it up and, uh, you know, usually I, I don't have a problem with kink tail. I haven't had a problem with kink tail for a long time. So, um, and then every once in a while I'll put just a tiny, tiny bit of, uh, of calcium plus from Rapashi. But as far as the Pangea fruit mix goes, that's all I use now. Um, I've, my geckos have been a lot healthier and everything. So, um, and I'm sure if you've watched my other videos, you know that. So anyways, getting on with it, um, gargoyle gecko temperatures. Um, are between 65 and 80. I never let my tanks get above 77, 78 um, normally. Um, if you do let them get above 80, uh, you know, they do really bad in the heat and they can actually stroke out and I've never had that happen. You know, like I said, um, you know, I keep mine below 80 at all times. I have a cooler in my house. But uh, yeah, and so uh, in the summertime, my nighttime lows are about 70 and my highs are about 75 to about 77 uh, at the hottest. And, um, you know, they really, that's, I find that they really like it about 75. So yeah, um, their humidity, um, I let it drop all the way to about 50%. Um, I kind of know by now, like in my racking or in my uh, tubs that I have, I actually have little, uh, you know, humidity gauges, but I pretty much have got it down to a T now where I know, you know, what everything is. So, um, I don't really use, you know, uh, hydrometers and everything anymore. Um, basically what happens is when, um, I first spray it down, which I actually just did, as you can see, I spray down all the walls and the paper towel and, uh, you know, it, uh, it dries up. Um, once it, once it starts drying, it hits about 50% humidity. That's when I spray it down again and it takes about all day to do it. So I spray it once in the morning and once at night. Um, and yeah, uh, crickets, you can feed them crickets if you want to, 
but it's kind of like a you know once a week thing and it's just a supplement um, their main diet really should be this this rapashi or the Pangea and like I said you know I use Pangea because my geckos have been a lot healthier since I switched from it from rapashi so um, they eat it a lot more and everything so yeah anyways um, I just wanted to do a really quick you know gargoyle gecko care video um, like I said there's my baby girl again and uh, you know she's just she's friendly and all I just don't want to you know mess with her too much but yeah they're very handleable um, geckos and I'm really surprised that you know they're not actually more popular in the hobby um, but yeah and I just put a light on it you don't need any kind of lighting at all or anything like that but anyways yeah so that's my updated care video guys um, if you guys have any questions or uh, you know comments feel free to you know comment right on my my videos or you know um, you can also email me at forestgeckos13 at gmail.com or my Facebook which is www.facebook.com forest slash or forward slash forest geckos um, but anyways guys yeah thanks for watching um, if you have any questions uh, let me know um, one more thing I wanted to throw real quick is uh, you know for people that are just getting into it gargoyle geckos actually like the tall tanks a lot more than the um, the vertical tanks so you really want, or I mean more more than the horizontal tanks, you really want a vertical tank, you know, that gives them lots of vertical room because they just climb a lot. So anyways, yeah, guys, um, have a good day and uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.